Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. 2015 WWE Extreme Rules Preview. Um, coming off of WrestleMania, we all know that WrestleMania was probably one of the best WrestleMania overall cards, in, if not ever in a real long time. Um, I know I enjoyed every bit of it. The Raw afterward was phenomenal. Uh, the three weeks of Raw since then, eh, mediocre. Some good parts, some bad parts. Um, hopefully before the end of the week, I'll have a Raw review of the last three weeks of Raw. But I wanted to get up the Extreme Rules preview. Um, in the pre-show dark match, we have the WWE Tag Team titles on the line. We have champion Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. Hopefully call them the Brass Ring Club. Versus the New Day, Biggie Langston, and Kobe Kingston. Um, the New Day coming off of that number one contender match against the Lucha Dragons. Um, with Cesaro and Tyson Kidd, the Brass Ring Club, New Day, the Usos, the Lucha Dragons, the Ascension. The WWE Tag Division is really starting to look up. Hopefully, the I know with the New Day getting this tag title shot, just like they did as part of that four-way at Mania. Hopefully, the Lucha Dragons will be getting a title shot soon, maybe getting in the titles. Um, I don't see any reason to drop the titles to the New Day. When the New Day came in, all the promos went like this and crashed and burned. It just, the concept is cool, but the reality of it's been garbage. Um, you need to build up the Ascension a little bit better. You get the Lucha Dragons, you get the Usos still. Once Jimmy comes back, or Jay, whichever one's hard, gonna hurt Mania. So I got the Brass Spring Club retaining their titles here. On the actual card, I got the first match is the Kiss My Arsh match. Basically, Kiss My Ass match. Uh, Dolph Ziggler versus Sheamus. Obviously, Sheamus returning the Monday after Rumble, after Raw, excuse me, or the Raw after Mania. And uh, looking, looking heel as uh, hell and looking like shit with that hair and the beard, the little braids and the mohawk and just, he knew when he came out looking like that he was going to turn heel. And the, you know, the bro kick to Dolph and to Daniel Bryan and, you know, you know way to, bad news Barrett. You know, the four of these guys, you know, kind of all in the, in, interming, intermingling for the Intercontinental title. Um, so it's kind of a, I don't think they're going to call it a number one contender match, but it's kind of a little feud between Sheamus and Dolph. Actually, Dolph went in this. Um, I just, I can't get behind the look Sheamus has. The heel Sheamus I'm good with. Him feuding for the Intercontinental title I'm good with. Him feuding with Dolph I'm good with. It just changed the look a little bit. I still think Dolph will win this. That face win. And, uh... Obviously, they just do a four-way with, you know, obviously the next match up, the WWE Intercontinental title. Champion Dan Bryan versus Bad News Barrett. Like I said, the four of these guys, feuding for the IC title, I'm all for that. You got Barrett and Sheamus as the heels, Dolph, Ziggler, and Dan Bryan as the faces. I'm all good with all this. Um, I see Dan Bryan retaining the title against Bad News Barrett. I think WWE wants to take these mid-card titles. It's why they put them on the Dolph Ziggler and John Cena is to build them up more. Um, I think having Dolph hold for a month and dropping it back to Bad News Barrett wouldn't necessarily add prestige to the you know the IC title, which it's had in the past. I think giving Dolph the title run, having him defend it against multiple people multiple times, I think it would be a good way to build that title back up. So I got Dolph retaining his Bad News Barrett. So hopefully, again, they'll set, you know, next pay-per-view, maybe Dolph versus Daniel Bryan for the IC title. Or something else I came up with, maybe all these promos that Bray Wyatt's cutting, maybe he's going to be feuding with a Dolph Ziggler or a Daniel Bryan soon. Seems like what, you know, what Bray's doing, he's kind of picking his battles. So I could see, you know, a couple different, this going a couple different ways. That's one of the possibilities of him doing, and I will tell you later my other possibility, but just remember Hell in the Cell. Think about that and Bray Wyatt return, and you'll know where I'm going with this. Next we have the Chicago Street Fight. We have Dean Ambrose versus Luke Harper. Um, I thought 
thought kind of randomly thrown together. I know they had a couple matches on the last two Raws that ended in no contest. So they're just kind of, boom, doing, you know, throwing it on here. The street fight I get there in Chicago, I think it'll be kind of an interesting battle between these two. If you look back on the indie circuit over the years, you know Blue Carper, formerly known as Brody Lee, for, and Dean Ambrose, formerly known as John Moxley, you know in, in, in CZW or somewhere along the line these two guys have met and, and battled. Uh, so I'm actually looking forward to that match. It should be a pretty entertaining match. Pretty pretty good match with the two guys that are in it. I know Luke Harper can bring in, obviously, big Dean Ambrose fan. You guys have, have said that more than once. Um, actually, had Dean Ambrose win in that. So I don't know if that feud will carry on to something else or it'll fall and lead up some for either one of these guys. Who knows? But we'll have Dean Ambrose win in that. Next, we have the last man standing. This will probably be the match where I go upstairs and get it. Food that Vita J hopefully cooks, or if J Man cooks, or just not even watch, pay attention to, or care about. Um, obviously, we all know what it's about. It's about Roman Reigns being the next big thing. It's all about Roman Reigns looking like a badass that no matter what happens, he can win, he can overcome, he can, you know, you, you can beat him up, but you can't beat him down. Last man standing, really. Here's what's going to happen. I can almost guarantee this will happen. Big Show is going to dominate this match. Big Show will get a probably a couple seven, eight counts. At the very end, Roman Reigns will go, hmm, let's see, Superman Punch, Spear, Superman Punch, Spear, 10 count, Roman Reigns wins. That'll be the gist of the match. Try to make Roman Reigns look like a badass. He can beat a monster. He can beat, he can beat you know, he can hang his own with Brock Lesnar. He can um, face a giant and win. Wow. Let's just make him the next big thing. I think that title is already taken by someone. Uh, next, we have the uh, U.S. title line. We have a Russian chain match. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, I said a Russian chain match. That is different than the United States chain match. I don't know how a Russian chain match is different than the United States chain match. But it is for the United States Champion. We have Champion John Cena versus Rusev. Or as I look back on some past pay-per-views, Alexander, Alexander Rusev. I guess they dropped the Alexander part now. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this. When Rusev started his little streak and never been pinned, never been, uh, never been, never submitted, never been pinned. Everybody knew it was going to lead up to Mania with John Cena for the U.S. title. A million rumors out there six months ago. So it did. You're kind of wondering, okay, they're going to keep this streak going with the Russian win. Then basically John Cena makes the big old Russian look like a little bitch at Mania. Takes the title. And now I have a rematch. I, I got John Cena retaining. I don't know where they go with this. If... It makes no sense to dump the title back to Rusev at this point when he's already submitted, you know, at Mania. I just, I just don't understand it. If you really wanted to do something, you let him win at Mania, I guess. I don't know. I got John Cena winning. Uh, next up, the WWE Divas side of the line. We have number one contender Naomi, who won the Battle Royal Raw versus champion Nikki Bella. Until WWE. Fixes their Divas division with AJ Lee retiring. You know, that takes away one of your top, you know, Divas with Paige being hurt. You got these two Divas in NXT, uh, Charlotte and Shasha, Shasha Banks, that aren't really doing anything, and but yet they're basically dominating in NXT. You, you need to move them up. You need to do something and kind of re, re-energize this, this uh, women's division because... Nikki Bella isn't great. She's horrible. Naomi isn't the champion material. So you gotta do something. I got Nikki retaining. You know, do something good for us. Maybe turn the bells on each other and do Nikki versus Bree or something crazy. You know, to spice it up a little bit. Uh, we have the WWE World Heavyweight Championship in a cage match. We have Seth Rollins, WWE World Heavyweight Champion. How's that sound? 
Seth Rollins, WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Sounds pretty damn good to me. Um, been wanting that for years and years. As I said in my WrestleMania review, 2010, 2009, seeing Ring of Honor, Tyler Black, and realizing then, this guy's pretty good. This guy could be WWE World Champion someday. And then, you know, J-Man and I doing different wrestling cards over the years, creating different wrestling ideas, having different factions. All of it was Randy and Seth, or few Randy and Seth, and Randy and then Tyler Black. But just seeing where Seth Rollins has come is just utterly amazing. A um, couple stipulations on this. We have the RKO that's banned. Um, I heard a, I read a rumor they're talking about banning the curb stomp. So both finishers are banned. You got Kane as the gatekeeper. Um, I'm going to step back a little bit before I finish this. And uh, there's something I want to add with that John Cena and Rusev. As you've seen on Raw, John Cena's had the U.S. Open Challenge for the U.S. title. And you've had all kinds of different people taking the challenge. You know, Dean Ambrose and, you know, Big Show. And different people came out and done this. What I want to see happen with that, I want him to continue that. I want to see some NXT guys accept the challenge. And I would love to see... Sami Zayn come out, accept the U.S. challenge, and actually beat Cena for the U.S. title on the Raw, and carry that feud on. Because after Rusev, there really isn't any other feud built up, because he's had a different challenger each time, unless you go back to Dean Ambrose, which I would love to see, don't get me wrong, but I'd also like to see some of the NXT guys get in the mix and come up, maybe the bell, get a shot, or the Dale Tommy, or one of those kind of guys. Just, you know, just an idea for it to mention when I was talking about the U.S. title. So back to this world title. RKO is banned. Possibility of the curve stop being banned. Kane is the gatekeeper. We're in a cage match. Seth Rollins versus Randy Orton. You know the history. Like I said earlier when I was talking about one Bray Wyatt. What would, you, what would you think of this possibility? Having... Roman Reigns beat Big Show, like I said. Having Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins and maybe Ambrose, you know, the old Shield feuding for the title until SummerSlam. Having Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton feud. If you remember right, Hell in the Cell, it was Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins main event. Bray Wyatt came out, had the lantern in the ring, the image of Sister Abigail came out. Wyatt Reigns through the attack, Steen Ambrose. Seth Rollins wins. That feud ends. He begins his feud with Dean Ambrose. What, you, what would you think about having seen lights go out, the lantern appear, Bray Wyatt appear, taking out Randy Orton? Seth Rollins would defend, you know, retain his title, which I think will happen no matter what. Setting up a feud between Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton for the next, before the summer. Not that I wouldn't love to see the Seth Rollins Randy Orton feud continue, but it's just intriguing to see because if you listen to these Bray Wyatt's promos, you really don't know who he's talking about yet. So it's going to take a couple, part another, at least another episode of Raw to really see what Wyatt's talking about. But if he does some appearance here, takes out somebody or attacks somebody, and then starts the promo for that person for Raw next Monday. But I do have Seth Rollins retaining his world title with help from Kane, probably. Um, you know, as Kane said on this past Raw, you know, you you know, we're, you were given this, I helped you win the money in the bank, I helped you win this, you can interchange you with Dean Ambrose and the result wouldn't have changed. Well, you know, just that pure honesty by Kane. And you're, you're, I'm watching going, he's, he's, he's right. <laughs> Not that I, you know, like Dean Ambrose anymore, any less than Seth Rollins. I think they're equally as talented. I think Dean Ambrose would make a great world champion, but it's like, can't point there. 
Roman Reigns, not so much, but Dean Ambrose, oh yeah, intertwined. So, recap this, I have Cesaro, Tyson Kidd, Brass Ring Club, retaining the tag titles in the pre-show match, I have Ziggler winning, I have Dean, Dean and Brian retaining the Intercontinental title, I have Dean Ambrose winning the Chicago Street Fight, I have Roman Reigns winning the last man standing match, I have John Cena retaining the U.S. title, Nikki Bella retaining the Divas title, and Seth Rollins retaining the world title against Randy Orton. And I would like to see a return, or not really a return, but Bray Wyatt come out, start a feud with the Randy Orton of the world, and that leaves a triple, hopefully Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins for the world title moving forward until SummerSlam, and then obviously at SummerSlam we would have Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar. Now we'll wrap up the 2015 WWE Extreme Rules preview. You can find the review probably Monday night on right here at Robert Sports Show, or you can catch me on Pro Wrestling Pulse Sunday after the pay-per-view. As always, thanks for watching, and have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, the YouTube leader in sports channels.